Hi, I'm Ben Gaines from Adobe Analytics Product Management, and today I want to spend a few minutes talking about uh, how you can move through your data, filter your data, and sort your data in Analysis Workspace. Uh, so here I've got a, a fairly robust project that I've built. I've got a number of data tables uh, here and some visualizations, and for each of these data tables, uh, you can see that there is at the top, uh, I have a number of options uh, for how to move through these. Um, I've got a mobile devices uh, panel here or mobile devices table here and I'm, I'm that's the one I'm going to use actually to uh, to show how you can how you can filter and sort and so on um, you'll notice that I'm actually uh, set to page 11 of 11 all of the results in analysis workspace or in freeform analysis are paginated um, so uh, you can control the number of rows that you want to show in a result uh, you can go as low as 10 or as high as 200 I've got it set to 25 it's 50 by default I've changed it to 25, um, and when you do that, uh, you get uh, a number of pages. If I were to increase this to 100, uh, it would retrieve data, and the number of pages is down to 3. Uh, with, at 25 rows per, uh, per page, so to speak, I'm, uh, I'm at 11 pages, and I can just arrow through those uh, to move through them, and you'll notice that the results change. Now, uh, one of the requests that we, uh, we often uh, get is, how do I just go to the very end of my result set. Something that wasn't very easy to do in reports and analytics, but is very easy to do in analysis workspace. I click on this number, three, and I get a list of all of the pages that are available, and I can select any one from that drop-down. So I can go to 11, and I can easily zoom back to number one. Um, let's uh, talk a little bit about sorting. Uh, you can, of course, sort by any metric. I'm going to add a second metric here just to make it uh, easier just do something simple like page views to show how uh, by default it's uh, here we're sorted by visits I can I can assort ascending uh, as well by default of course it's descending uh, and then I can click on this arrow next to the total uh, to uh, change the metric that I am that I'm sorting by now one of the interesting things about freeform analysis is that for uh, for date tables or where date is a dimension as you can see in this table uh, you, uh, by default, it will sort by, uh, by date chronologically, so June 1st is at the top and June 30, 30th is uh, down at the bottom of the table. However, uh, you can also sort by a metric. So if I wanted to sort on non-mobile page views, I can do that, and you'll see that the date, uh, the, the, uh, the rows are now sorted by that, uh, by, that, by that metric and you have some non-linear uh, chronology here, uh, 1, 2, 4, 3, 5, 13, 19, um, because that's the order uh, you can see here for uh, non-mobile page views. So an interesting feature of, uh, of tables where date is a dimension, you can sort by, uh, by a metric, not just uh, chronologically, although that is the, that is the default. Um, the last thing I want to talk about is filtering. Uh, filtering is available uh, by clicking this little filter icon that's gonna, that always appears to the right of the uh, name of the dimension that you're, uh, that you're trying to filter. Um, so there's simple filtering. I can filter by iPhone and just apply that and, uh, and I can see what, I've, what I searched for uh, right there to the right of the icon. We also added advanced filtering. So, and you're, those of you who've used uh, reports and analytics, before are, are probably familiar with this. Uh, you can uh, set up multiple rules here, so contains, uh, let's do if any criteria are met, and we'll do iPad uh, as well. Um, you could also require all criteria to be met. You have contains and does not contain. And so if I apply that, uh, we have iPad, we have iPhone, and we have a, a third item which happens to have the string iPad there at the end of multipad. Uh, in our in our results as well, um, so I could come in here and um, create a rule that would probably be more specific and would limit me to just iPad and iPhone. Anyway, hopefully this helps you navigate uh, the freeform analysis tool a little bit better and produce uh, tables and visualizations that are are uh, more in line with uh, with what you're looking for. Thank you.